Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use schematics in your Minecraft server. So you will need world edit for this, but I'm not going to actually show you how to install it as we do already have a video on it. So in the top right corner right now, there's a video showing how to use world edit. Once you have installed world edit, come back to this video and I'll show you how to use it. So in this video, I'm going to run through how to make them, how to delete them, and also how to copy them from other worlds. Anyway, let's get right into it. Alright, so if you do have world edit installed, it is really, really simple to make a schematic. So let's say, for example, I wanted to copy this well. So I'd select my first position here, and then we'll make our second position just up here. And then do slash up one to just make a glass block. Right click, and there we go. So now we want to stand in the place where we want to copy it from. So I'll explain this in just a sec, but let's say we want to stand right here in the middle. If we did slash slash copy, as you can see, it is now copied it. And if we were to come over here and do paste, we could then do slash slash paste. And as you can see, it has actually spawned the well. Now, I was looking that way when I copied it. So that's why when I look this way, it is still copied in this direction. Anyway, but that's just copying and pasting. So how do you actually make a schematic? Now, let's just undo this. All right, there we go. So we're back in the normal well now. So once again, make sure it is copied to your clipboard. And then you can do slash schematic. Then you want to do save. And then the name of the schematic that you want it to be. So I'll just put well for this. As you can see, well has been saved. Now what schematics basically do is it allows you to access saves and stuff even if you have copied something else after that. So if I was to copy this piece of land here and do slash slash copy. And then I could do slash slash paste. As you see, it just spawned that land. Though the well is no longer on my clipboard. However, if I was to do slash schematic then load and then the name of my schematic which was well as you can see well loaded paste it in with slash slash paste so well has now been put on my clipboard so now if we face the same direction we can do slash slash paste and as you can see the well has been spawned so it's basically just a way to save things on your clipboard if you wanted to look at a list of your different schematics then you can do slash schematic and then list. I made one earlier called village house and as you can see village house is right at the top and then the well which we just made is at the bottom. Let's also say you wanted to delete a schematic. This is also really really easy. You want to do slash schematic and then delete and then the name of your schematic so ours was called well and there we go well has been deleted so now if we do slash schematic and then list as you can see well is no longer in our available schematics meaning that if we were to do slash schematic load well schematic well does not exist so that's pretty much been deleted now of course you can create it again by just selecting the same area copying it and making a new schematic but anyway that's the very very basic commands for schematics but now i'm going to show you how you can actually transfer them between worlds all right so as you can see we are now on our server page and if we go to the left on the file manager and then to the plugins folder and then to the world edit folder we have a folder called schematics and as you can see villagehouse.schematic is in it we deleted the world schematic earlier which would have also been in here but essentially how this works is you just drag the schematic files into this folder so of course you go to other world files grab the schematic file and paste it in here so i'll actually show you how to do that now all right so we're currently in a different world and if I do slash schematic and then list, as you can see, we have one available schematic called Big Tower, which is this big tower right here. And then if we go to our server files, all right, so we're now on the server page. So the first thing you want to do is go to the file manager on the left. You either want to go to the plugins folder, click world edit, go to schematics, and then of course, find your schematic. You want to click the checkbox next to it and then click download. Once it has downloaded, you want to click back and then go to the server that you want it to be in. All right, so we're now on the server page for my main server. Then once again, we want to go to file manager, go to plugins, world edit, schematics, and then you want to click upload, file, and select your schematic file and click open. It will then upload the file and there we go. So for this, you don't actually need to restart your server. As soon as you put it in the server files, you'll be able to use it in-game. 
All right, so we're now joining our server. There we go. And now if we do slash schematic, and then list, as you can see, we have villager house dot schematic and also big tower dot schematic. And now if we were to do slash schematic, load, and then big tower, there we go. We can then do slash slash paste. And there we go. We now have the big tower from the other world. So it's actually super, super easy to transfer things across worlds. And of course, across the internet, there'll be loads of different schematic files for things like note blocks, which make songs and everything like that. You can literally just paste in once you have the file. So it's actually super, super easy to do. Anyway, I hope this video did help out. If it did, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.